my weight made me feel an outcast. When you're 500 pounds and you're 6'3", like I am, like you just get stared at. My friends were like, I bet you can't eat 18 hot dogs. And I was like, yes I can, I can eat hot dogs. I bet you I can. And so I, I ate the hot dog. My sister gives me a call and I told her the story. Her first answer was just, why'd you do it? And it kind of made me realize that like, I was just embarrassing myself. Like, this was just humility and they were laughing at me, not with me. It finally clicked with me that to get the respect I've always wanted, I have to first respect myself. When it comes to romantic relationships, my weight was both a mental and physical blocker. I don't think I was attractive at that size. It's gone much better since I've lost weight. It's insane. Like it's, it's crazy to me to even imagine or even think about like I used to be that big. I was almost 500 pounds here. Like, look at those tiny glasses that barely fit in my face. I've been obese since I was about six years old. A lot of it was just ignorance on my part, my parents, we just didn't know what the nutrition was. When you are like a poor immigrant family, that you go to is just what's the cheapest thing in your grocery store, right? Bags of rice, potato, those sugary cereals. I just ate tons of carbs and fats and not enough protein and not enough vegetables either. This picture really shocked me. I was just like, this is a picture everyone looks at and was like, wow, I used to look like this. I used to break so many chairs in my life. Like I've, I've broken over 50 chairs in my life. As an adult, like my weight made me feel an outcast. When you're 500 pounds and you're 6'3", like I am, like you just get stared at. I was always the first one to kind of make fat jokes. I had to kind of disrespect myself first so other people wouldn't get to me. When really the whole time inside, I hated it and I just wanted to be fit and, and healthy just like everyone else. I just don't recognize myself at that size anymore. Like look at this one here when I ate 18 hot dogs and kind of think like, wow, I used to be that big. It's crazy. And my friends were like, I bet you can't eat 18 hot dogs. And I was like, I definitely can. And so I, I ate the hot dogs and, and I did it. And after I ate 18 hot dogs, I felt awful, like I vomited afterwards. I had a call with my sister a couple months later and when I told her, hey, I ate 18 hot dogs, she kind of looked at me with that look of like, why'd you do that? Kind of like, almost like a freak show that they're making fun of you, like you're just embarrassing yourself. And that's honestly when it really clicked to me of like, I'm the one who's disrespecting myself. And I was like, this has to stop, like I have to lose this weight to like, to just so I, can, so I can gain the respect I want. Even as a kid, I'm like, I want to be fit, I want to be healthy, but I never knew how to do it. My whole thing was about hope. Like, I knew that if I kept working at it every single day, eventually it'll get better. I'm the heaviest, I was just a little above 480 pounds. Currently, I weigh about 239. I've lost a total of 240 pounds. I work out currently six days a week, actually seven. Uh, two of those days are yoga, then three, four of those days are running, and then four of those days are lifting. The best exercise for losing weight has been just been kind of consistency, just doing something every single day. It wakes me up throughout the day. It's like my coffee for the morning. So I do every single morning is work out. So it's like, I feel, I mean, I feel fantastic. I was so limited at what I can do, right? And now that I've lost this weight, I can climb a mountain, I can go hiking, I can go snowboarding, I can go skiing, I can go learn to surf. I just want to do it all. Yeah! When it comes to romantic relationships, my weight was more of a, it was both a mental and physical blocker. I don't think I was attractive at that size. I had skin removal surgery in May, 2020. I had about over 10 pounds of loose skin. And when I would run, it would hit me, it would slap me, it would get in the way. When I put clothes on, I think if it fit right, I had a weird shape. I can literally hold my stomach like a serving tray. This weight loss really helped me physically, but it also helped me mentally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I met Cindy about five months ago now. We were together a lot, trying to get her faster at biking. She's way faster than on the bike. <laughs> but she's way faster than me at running. I love that you are open to like trying new things and stuff, because it's really fun. The thing I'm most proud of is just being able to walk down the streets as kind of a normal person. I tell people that I've lost this weight and they're like, what? Like, I don't believe you, you don't look anything like that. And that's like the happiest and craziest feeling. I think Amir's weight loss, the whole journey is honestly so amazing. I actually had no idea when I um, first met him and he didn't tell me until maybe like a few weeks later. 
Uh, I think he was like scared that I wouldn't like him if, if I knew, but honestly when he did tell me, it made me like him so much more. The biggest advice I give is to have a reason of why you're doing it. Have a reason that's so important, it beats everything else. It's just so important to you that you can stick with it every single day. Every day you just have to tell yourself that you're gonna lose the weight, you're gonna look amazing, it's gonna get better, you just have to do it now. My parents saw me as bigger and that I needed to work on that. It was like, okay, well I can't eat around my parents, which then led to a really negative relationship with food. Being 300 pounds, it was very immobilizing. It literally hurts to sleep. I can't go up a flight of stairs. It was enough of a wake up call for me to be like, okay, something has to change. Once I started doing research on bariatric surgery, I knew this was my answer. It is not the easy way out. I have worked hard from day one. At my heaviest weight, I weighed 300 pounds. I lost 165 pounds. So the foods that I would typically eat when I was like closet eating and binging and stuff growing up, um, it was probably a lot of fast food. I would hide it, pretend like I didn't have that, and then I would have dinner with my family. So I'm essentially having like two or three meals worth of food in an evening. Oh, here we are. This is it. This is the pool party. I had this very cute, like rainbow and flowery bikini picked out. I was so excited about it. I distinctly remember the impression being left on me at this age that I, I shouldn't wear that bikini because I don't look like someone who should be wearing bikinis. I was made to feel like I had a major weight issue. I think that was kind of the beginning of it for me. I look at that photo and I just see a, a healthy, normal young woman, but I know at that time I was made to think that I was very overweight. I think my parents both come from families where thinness was idolized, and so one of my earliest memories that I have is um, being told that I need to go on Weight Watchers, and that was when I was in second grade. I do love my parents and I think that they truly thought they were doing what was best for me. I just think maybe they went about it the wrong way. But it's not necessarily their fault. They're listening to diet culture. They're listening to what society is telling them to do. I ended up at 300 by the time I was 24. That was the heaviest I had ever been in my life. It was very immobilizing. It literally hurts to sleep. Um, I can't go up a flight of stairs. I mean, I'm basically, I feel like I'm living in a 70 year old body at this point. It was enough of a wake up call for me to be like, okay, something has to change. Something major has to shift and it cannot be another diet. I've done all the diets. So I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy. To me, it can be a cure to your obesity if you go about it the right way. It is not the easy way out. I have worked hard from day one. I was probably doing about three or four days of cardio and two or three days of strength. I think fitness has helped me with my body image. Pushing my body to the extreme and seeing, holy crap, I am so strong, I am so powerful. At my heaviest weight, I weighed 300 pounds. I currently weigh 150. I lost 165 pounds. Michaela's growth has been incredible. Um, seeing her strength and her confidence increase in that amount of time has been unreal. It was a hard workout, but it feels good to just like get that out. Thank you. Absolutely, I always love seeing you. All right, see you tomorrow. Um, I invited my mom over today um, just to kind of talk about my journey so far and what she has thought of my journey. Um, she was my support person when I had bariatric surgery. My relationship with my parents, it's really good now. Okay. Hi. Just to see you go through with it and, and um, just all your accomplishments. I just, me and your dad couldn't be prouder of you. We're just, you know, we love you so much and we are very 
very proud. I've always kind of wanted to be a personal trainer. I've always wanted to be a coach. I built up my Instagram, and then it was last year that I officially launched my coaching services. And I typically work with bariatric patients, and so I had help and guidance on my journey, and now I want to give that to other people. I looked through your food log. Thank you for sending me your food log. So how, how has that been? I think it went really well. I really feel like the food journaling is really helping to, to see. Also, I mean, like you said, eating a more dense breakfast really helps the rest of the day. Yeah, no, I think that looks great. I am so proud of you. I just love hearing the wins, like on her call. You know, she had one of her big wins is she implemented some of the nutrition changes that I suggested. It just fills my heart. It makes my whole day. The only reason I have been successful after weight loss surgery um, is because of the healthy lifestyle that I have adopted and because of the work that I have put in. It is not about the numbers. It's not about the size. It's not about looks at all, because looks fade. So make it about health, make your why, why you're losing weight. That should be a deep rooted, all about wanting to improve your life. Genetically for me, it was easy for me to get fat. I was just eating a bunch of calories that kind of made me 300 pounds overall. I just love video games, I love playing online with my friends. So I'm basically sitting and all I was doing just putting food in my mouth whenever I wanted. The lowest moment of my life, January 3, 2015, I can just look at myself and say, 10 years from now, is this the guilt that people are gonna view. I was 310 pounds and I've lost over 100 pounds. When I was growing up, I was always a chubby kid in school. You know what I mean? It was a little bit hard for me to kind of fit in in a sense just because, you know, I wasn't really comfortable. I played games every single day in high school from like freshman year to like literally my senior year. I'll play up to like eight to 12 hours. I'm basically sitting and I wasn't really doing anything and all I was doing just putting food in my mouth whenever I wanted. So that's what kind of played a huge role on my weight gain. I would say the lowest moment of my life was January 3, 2015. I remember going home from school. I was really frustrated just with, you know, just how the school day went. Stepped into my room and I looked at myself in the mirror for an hour and I was just, I realized, I'm like, hey, things gotta change. Just look at myself and say, is this the person I wanna be in the next couple of years? 10 years from now, is this the guilt that, you know, people are gonna view? And if I don't lose weight now, then I won't lose weight forever. When I first started my fitness journey, I just kind of went cold turkey and just ate really little food without even tracking any calories. And this resulted to me losing like, like 130 pounds in like a span of six months. It was really fast, really drastic. After losing the weight, I finally decided to step in the gym with my best friend at the time. First day at the gym when I saw that bodybuilder in the locker room, the very first bodybuilder I saw, he was completely, you know, completely lean. His body just didn't look, he looked like an action figure to be honest. And I was just completely amazed of like, I never knew the body could look like that too. Like I didn't know like, like, whoa, is that even possible? Can I get that? For me, I was like, I wanna be able to attain that. I wanna be able to get that physique. So that's what sparked the fire in me to really attain a physique like that. So I started training a bodybuilding style. So that's kind of what I'm into bodybuilding. At my heaviest, I was 310 pounds, and I've lost over 100 pounds. Incline dumbbell press, it's one of, I believe, that's one of my lagging body parts. In my physique, I always start off with it. Another way that I like to do is the um, wide grip lap pull downs. I personally like it, not only just because, you know, of what it can do for my, you know, my physique. I like the after effect of having a muscular back after a hit exercise. So there was a time when I was dieting, getting in shape. I'm seeing all this muscle come in, right? But then I wasn't seeing like my loose skin go away. And over time, I kind of learned how to kind of accept it because I'm like, man, you know, this kind of makes me who I am. This is like my body. I don't really need to get rid of my loose skin if I generally don't want to. You know, my first competition, I found it really rewarding because this is something I've always wanted to do and, you know, for a long time. And I could have never imagined myself, you know, being an overweight guy wanting to compete in a bodybuilding stage. And, you know, that moment I stepped on the stage, you know, hit my first pose, I was just like, no way, I just did it, right? So me, 
getting into it, my goal was to, you know, do it for myself, right? I wanted to compete because I just had a big passion for bodybuilding. I just wanted to step on stage, impact people, inspire people to say, hey, even though I have like these insecurities of mine of having new skin, I still did what I wanted to do because, you know, it's what I truly love to do. And that's why I want to put out there, not for, you know, everybody else, but also for myself. I know those dark times when it comes to fat loss or like, you know, not seeing results. But I want to be able to help people, you know, give them a helping hand and say, hey, you know, I know how it feels. I, I relate with you in so many ways. Let me help you. And that's where I want to take, you know, take my career at, in the, you know, especially in the fitness industry. If I would go back in time, I would definitely tell myself not to focus on others, but focus on yourself because that's where you can actually find um, your true love or true passion for what you do. My biggest problems were using food inappropriately. So anytime I felt nervous or scared, I would eat, 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 eat. I didn't have any willpower, like I didn't have any control. The moment I realized I needed to do something, I was at a friend's graduation. I was 445 pounds. I couldn't even get from my car into the stadium. I was like, what am I doing? I can't even live like the normal life. At that point, I knew I needed to do something drastic. I have lost 300 pounds. I have had two surgeries to remove my loose skin. If sharing my story can help anyone else feel a little bit better, then it's worth it. From the time I was little, I was already overweight and it increased gradually. And by the time I graduated high school, I was up to 300 and into my 20s, all the way up to my highest weight, I was 445 pounds. When I was overweight, I felt disappointed in myself. I blamed myself and I felt weak. Like I didn't have any willpower, like I didn't have any control. I'd been on every diet, every workout routine, every fad, every everything, and nothing had ever stuck. I'd never been able to make anything work. The moment I realized I needed to do something, I was, at a friend's graduation, and we had to walk from the parking lot to the stadium to watch the ceremonies, and I couldn't do it. I was 445 pounds. I eventually got in there, but you know, it was already going on and I missed it. But the fact that I couldn't even get from my car into the stadium, I was like, what am I doing? I can't even live like a normal life. <laughs> so at that point, um, I knew I needed to do something drastic. I decided to have weight loss surgery. I pretty much felt like it was, I either have this surgery or I'm gonna die like very soon. This was actually a little bit before I decided to make the appointment to go see the bariatric surgeon. And this was the month of surgery. When I met Chris, I had had my surgery a few months before, but I hadn't lost all my weight yet. I was still significantly overweight. Chris has been my partner in crime throughout the entire thing. Supporting my wife, I mean, that's kind of a, that's a no brainer. Um, you know, we do everything together. She started running one day and I decided I, I don't wanna get left behind. I see everything she's achieving and you know, it motivates me to, to get healthier. It, it motivated me to lose a good chunk of weight already. Weight loss surgery is just a tool and it's the first step. I was 445 pounds and I have lost 300 pounds. When I come into the gym, I feel like I'm in my own world. I've made this time for me and I feel proud of myself that I'm doing something good for myself. I have had two surgeries to remove my loose skin so far. My skin stretched so far with my weight that it was no way it was going back. So actually the, st the skin that was removed from my stomach um, was 13 pounds. Showing my skin on social media was scary to begin with. I was like, I don't even wanna see 
because at this time I have 19 followers. And overnight, the video had gone viral and 1.4 million later, here we are. If sharing my story, all of it, good and bad, ugly, messy, can help anyone else feel a little bit better, then it's worth it. The advice I give absolutely everyone who wants to lose weight is three things. Your protein, your water, your exercise, and then the real thing is your mental, emotional health. None of the other things matter if you're not right up here and in here. I want to inspire, I want to encourage. More than anything, I want people to feel supported.